All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming here with episode five of the Engineer series of Mass Effect. Let's get down to it here any second now. We'll get down to it. There it is. I've been exercising here lately. It's nice exercising, getting those endorphins flowing and all that. It, it is. It's real nice. Here we are back on the ship. Um, we are just doing some missions that it looks like. Yep. But here we go. Oh, we're looking for the, like um, we're looking for the Exogeny, um, research team, I think. That's what I think we're doing here. Yep, that's what it is, because there's the mine over there. Yep. The excavation team, that's what it is. The excavation team. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Could be answers at the excavation site. So here we go. As you can see, um, I'm working on Spectre training, I think. Yep, just to get advanced unity. And then I was trying to plan out what I was going to do. Again, I should have never wasted points on first aid with Ashley. But Singularity is a good one for Liara. She's the only one that knows that. You cannot have a character that will know Singularity in this game, I don't think. Okay, so into the excavation site we go. Out of the way, Liara. Shit. And that's what Singularity does right there. I have heard of this before. Whatever alien technology the survey team unearthed, must have turned them into mindless fanatics, machine cultists. Whatever they found, it's long gone now. Right. Now I don't I don't know why I didn't just cut out looking for stuff when I could have just went to the doors and just finished this mission.
shot him in the ass. <laughs> There we go. Oh, they were a survey team. I thought they were an excavation team. Okay. So here we go. Next mission. I cut out looking for the items and stuff and walking back because you don't need to see that. I don't want to watch that either. So that's why I did, I did that. And this one, I believe we're trying to save Chairman Burns. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, thunder's better. Come on, get the thunder on. Thank you. I don't know why I didn't cut this out. I don't know why I didn't cut this out. Yep, I thought so. the shields that's all of them so now we just go in and confront the terrorist leaders see how it is you write letters and everyone ignores you force is the only thing people appreciate so how about if I kill chairman burns and finish the charade please I was trying to help you people Let's not do anything we're all going to regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. Well, I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it's, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. If you die fighting, you'll get a lot of biotics killed as well. What do you mean? You've just made all L2 biotics look like terrorists. Think of what will happen to them. Yeah, exactly. To hear about what the government has done and what it has failed to do. People have already heard. You don't have to kill me to make your point. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. Then you weren't doing your job. The Fifth Fleet Cruiser will pick you and the prisoners up. Message coming in. Fred! Patching it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. That's what I do. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth fleet out. Here we go. We're going to land on another planet here. I believe this is one of the um, people we need to kill for Helena Blake. One of the crime lords.
That works. <laughs> so do I max out Spectre training first or Operative? No, I do hacking just so I can reduce the um, recharge time of my powers. That's what I do. And then do we... Yeah, we advance Singularity. There we go. There, that sounds better. My left ear was scratching for some reason. There we go. I'm trying to figure out what target I want. Yep, it was the crime lord. I thought so. I believe um this one's the Guess nobody. Yep, I thought this most of the systems seem to be disabled. Only basic life support appears to be functioning. Yep, this is the one where we, um, go and find out the guy's a vegetable. That's right. Hear that? We're not alone. Somebody set that trap. The whole place could be wired. Right in between the crates. That's an impressive shot. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing here. I don't know. Oh, I was looking for that other fusion container. Okay. Stiletto does a little better, okay. Jacob's not going to make it. His brain was deprived of oxygen for too long. 
There's nothing any of us can do for him now except let him die with dignity. It's what he would want. I'm more worried about Julia now. She's showing signs of severe depression. I gave her some meds that should help, but I better warn the captain. Yeah, you might want to. You might want to. You know this water bottle I've got? It's pretty cool. I actually found it. Um, I found it out in the garage. I don't know why it was out there, but it was out there. And so, um, it's a little Powerade bottle. It's a 32-ounce bottle, and I just fill it up with water, and I carry it when I walk. I just walk around the block three times every morning, and, um... Jacob is showing no signs of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so we're going to disconnect the life support. Dr. Smith is worried about Julia's reaction, though. She can't seem to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support down. Give her a chance to... Julia, what are you doing here? Why are you... Ah! Take cover! See, why the hell is it switching guns on me? I don't know why. Why is it swapping guns on me like that? I don't know why. Whatever. Looks like that machine is keeping him alive. I do not see any brain activity on the readouts. He is dead. This body is just an empty shell. Maybe we should shut the machine down. It's the merciful thing to do. It is your decision, Shepard. But perhaps we should wait until we have more information before we do anything. That was the compassionate thing to do, Shepard. Okay. I don't remember what this one is. Um... I know it's an ice planet, but what do we do here? That's what I'm trying to think. But we'll figure it out here in a minute. <laughs> Is this the other crime lord? Is that what this one is? The other crime lord? Yeah, I'm thinking that's what this one is. I think it's the other crime lord. Med kit, we'll take that. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what this one is. The other crime lord. Overload? Yeah, there you go. Ah, he's gone. <laughs> we killed him with one shot. Inferno rounds are the way to go in this game. Boom. 
message coming in. Patching it through. The general distress call. The sacred angel medical transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Cargo. Communications failing. Life support. Emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Going down there to check out this uh, distress beacon. And that's the end of them, I think. Yep, it is. And that was the last of it. On that planet. Okay. Which one's this one? Okay. Oh, this is the one with Ton Actus. That's right. Where we get Rex's armor. That's right. Again, it swapped the fucking gun again. I, I don't understand why. I don't understand why it doesn't. way and that's it that okay just get some stuff and then if I can get this one there we got it. Okay.
And then we come up here and then, yeah, okay. I see what we're doing. We're coming up here. We're going to open the safe and get the armor. After we check what's over here. Okay, and then in the safe we go. After we screw around with this, it looks like. Alright. There we go. Okay, now we talk to Rex and give it back to him. What do you want, Shepard? I found this armor. Does it belong to you? Let me see. Yeah. This is it. Hard to believe my ancestors wore this piece of crap. But at least it's back where it belongs. Thanks, Shepard. I might be starting to like you after all. You're getting soft on me, Rex. <laughs> Just because I like you doesn't mean I wouldn't kill you. <laughs> Commander, incoming signal from 5th Fleet HQ on the Citadel. Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. What makes this uncomfortable? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. I understand this must be handled, but I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. Good luck. Fifth Fleet out. All right. Now we go and we deal with this frickin' bomb that Admiral Hackett hid from the public. I don't know why that's fun moving the boxes around with the uh, Mako like that, but it is. It's so much fun. The signal is coming from a mine. It smells like ambush, Commander. No shit. I concur. This did not crash. Someone moved it here. The grasp of the obvious is inspiring. There's still a nuke down there. Check your corners and watch your back. Aye aye. <laughs> Smart ass Shepherd strikes again. Smart ass shepherd strikes again, man. Oh! What the hell? Shepard, at 
last. Have we met? My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? You assume I give a damn. That's cute. <laughs> the longest leads. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the verge. You organized the attack on Elysium. Too bad we kicked your ass back into Terminus, huh? I was the motivator. The instigator. The one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed! I was ruined when your kind held against the Blitz. What better way to recover my reputation than by eliminating the first human specter? You'll see me again, Halliot. Count on it. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Goodbye, Shepard. What do we do now, Shepard? We find a way out. Someone up there needs my boot up his ass. See if there's anything in here we can use. There's one. There's two. There's three. And we leveled up for that too. And then we're doing damping, and that increases the explosion radius of your uh, proximity binds, of your powers, pretty much. Dude, engineers are so overpowered in this game. They really are. They really are. <clears throat> Ow. Do I do lift? Yeah, I do lift. Because I never use stasis. There's really no need to use stasis. All right, so now we go down this hill and we kill him. Shepard knows how to run. Run, Forrest, run! There we go. We took care of him. Okay. On to the next mission. Is this where we take on the... Uh, yep. Patching it through. Normandy. Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong Cluster. We need someone to take them out. I'm on it, Admiral. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting a geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. Okay. So I cut out all the bullshit and I just go straight to the um, outposts, which makes this so much quicker. So I'm so glad I did that. You know, I'm, I'm so glad I did that.
Okay. Yeah, I'm doing damping just to get it advanced. One, two. There we go. Got you, got you, got you, there we go. And now we come in and take care of the Colossus. Three more outposts to go. The first step in a long journey. You got that right, Liara. It's the next planet. Next outpost. Well, this ain't the outpost. This is a like calm area or whatever now there's something interesting here in the 360 version and the ps3 version this is glitched you can't interact with the thing that's here but they fixed it in this version Oh, am I gonna get it? Oh, I can! Now oh, look at that! Got him. There's one left, and we gotta move so we can get a clear shot at him. There we go. And then in comes the drop ship that we gotta shoot at. This is actually kind of glitched. If you're close enough, they'll sh the dropship will shoot at you. But if you stay far enough away like this, you can just shoot at the dropship and let it go away. <laughs> We're halfway to try to be Is that all of them? Yep, that was all of them. Next! We got rid of the biggest threat, which was the Colossus. Another drop ship. Ah, they didn't even get a chance to shoot at me. I was taking them out. One more outpost left. The sooner we get rid of it, the sooner this cluster is secure. Damn right. Next.
We throw the husk out of the way. Why'd I put my guns away? Didn't mean to. Okay, and that's all that was in here. There we go. That's how you deal with those. Ursa is better for Ms. Williams, so... Oh shit! Hello! The destroyers didn't waste any time! <laughs> That's a first! I've never had the destroyers come up on me like that! Got a ways to go yet. <clears throat> there we go. That's how you do that. Okay. We're done in here. Nope. Oh, now we got a drop ship full of Death here. Yeah, there you go. Throw. Oh. One of these outposts would be the main base of operations for this incursion. One moment. 
This receiver appears to be picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I would say it's coming from inside this star cluster. It's gotta be the main base. We can use the signal to lock onto its location and go take it out. I need to change the um, combat scanner, but I don't have nothing to change it with. Huh. There we go. Nice job for you. Nice job for you. We take out the juggernaut. Okay. There we go. Oh, is this the last mission I do? Nope, I do probably a couple more. I probably do a couple more here. Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our home world. You think you can use this information to destroy your enemy? Not right away. We will need to study it. It could take years, but it will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Go ahead. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saturn and his Geth armies are defeated. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, sir. Okay, so now we max out operative. Um, do I do first aid? I do. And then I'm just sitting here trying to plan what I do for Shepard with skill points later on. This is from Admiral Hackett, Commander. Patching it through. We just received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Nice job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack it out. Message coming in. Patching it through. I've received some information I thought you'd want to see, Commander. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. I'm happy to look into it, Admiral. What can you tell me? We found a connection between the scientists and you. 
They all worked on a classified project several years ago, on a coos. A coos? I lost my whole unit there. You're saying that our scientists were involved? I can't get any information on what they were working on. The project records were sealed. Commander, Shepard, what you do with this is up to you. I just thought you'd want to know. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out. Down he goes. That's how you take out a bunch of guys like that. Predator's better for Liara. There we go. No grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please! He's a madman! Mr. Toombs, you're insane! You need help! Shut up! You don't get to lie! You don't. Shepard? My god, Shepard, is that you? Corporal Toombs? But I saw you die on a coos. How did you get here? They took me, Shepard. The scientists. You can't prove any of this. This man is delusional. See, they were running tests on the Thresher Maws. They let those things hit us just to watch and study. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. What did they do to you, Tombs? You can't believe Tombs. He doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial. You ain't getting one. There, you bastard! You ain't get you ain't getting one, mammoth. <laughs> some organization, Cerberus, that runs secret tests like this. They treated me like a lab animal. This man deserves to die, Shepard. For you, for me, for everyone else in the unit. Are you with me? Can you say scum bucket? Corporal, if you kill him, you're a criminal. But I'm a specter. Nobody will question me. You can't kill me. You don't know who you're dealing with. Damn it, Shepard. This is my kill. You got out with a few scratches and a scary reputation. I'm the one they tortured. I got off easy and you didn't. So let me handle this, Tombs. <laughs> da, da, da. It's really <clears throat> old. Maybe the screaming will stop now. I don't know. 
Those bastards can't hurt you anymore. Joker, tell the Fifth Fleet we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. Message coming in. Patching it through. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. It's unfortunate Dr. Wayne ended up dead, but based on your report, your actions were understandable. Corporal Toombs seems to have found some closure, and hopefully with therapy, you'll have a normal life again someday. I hope this helped you find some peace, Commander. Thank you. Fifth lead out. Hey, where else are we going? Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a... Oh, this one, yep. Yeah. ...at a cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. I'll look into it. Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. I'll deal with Major Kyle for you, Admiral. We don't want this to turn into a massacre, Commander. Kyle is dangerous. I trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. All right. So now we'll deal with Major Kyle. Major, pain in the ass, Kyle. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. Can you say scum bucket? The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle, and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. Okay. And then here, I don't know what I did there. I think it was just a plan more for the build. <laughs> Is that the only thing in there? I think so. Kyle, I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? You killed two Alliance officers. You had to know how this would end. They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. 
I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you're endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. If you don't come with me, all your followers will end up dead. What kind of father lets his children die? No, this... this was my fault. My children are innocent. Pure. Please, I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. I don't want an apology. You have to come with me, Major. Wait, if my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. I'm going to trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Joker can have the 5th Fleet pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Commander. Right? Okay! And I think that's gonna be the end of this. Yep, it is. So, hope you all had fun in this episode. I did. And I will see you all in the next episode.